with that, we're gonna we're gonna bring Nick in. We have a design challenge for you. Nick is our fellow co-host of the Startup to Storefront podcast. Nick is actually uh, shooting a commercial again, so this is actually his first project. Say where he is in Cupertino. Oh. Hey guys. Hey. Hello everyone. Here is. <laughs> so now I'm gonna paint a picture for you. Okay. Okay. So Nick Conrad is a single man. Since COVID, we're obviously all at home doing Zoom meetings. And the challenge with this is sometimes this is the backdrop of his of our podcast. And and Natalia obviously knows something a little bit about design and she absolutely dislikes this baby blue. I mean, color. like, dude, it, it's Carpet. like you're eight years old again. <laughs> And so we said, how great would it be to ask, what would Orlando do to this room? Just to make it one, obviously it's the new workspace, right? This is your backdrop. And we just want to give him the bachelor pad of his dreams. So what is up for grabs? Like what is, what can be changed? Anything. I'm glad that they're speaking for me because <laughs> clearly they, they've rendered my uh, input pretty much meaningless just based on the room color itself. Did you choose that color? So it was lavender when I first got in there to that space. And so, so I was, the answer is yes. you know, it was, uh, it was my choice. And I, I basically just chose a color that I like. I like blue. And so I threw it up on the wall and uh, didn't really give it any second thought whatsoever until I met them and had, had them over and they, they like took one look at my room and instantly, like that was the first thing that they picked up on and just have not let me, have a, a moment's rest <laughs> ever since then. <laughs> I mean, in your defense, I am wearing that color on my body, basically. I'm wearing like a light blue shirt. So I think it's it can great for a shirt. Work, like, works well in certain applications. That's something that I kind of like realized at an early age is that sometimes things that you love in terms of color aren't things that belong on your wall. I actually don't know if I dislike the color of the wall. I think maybe if there was some sort of like crown molding on it and the floor was like a hardwood floor and you know the furniture felt more considered you might read that blue in a different way than you're reading it now and blue is really hard too because the specific hue can take it from like pretty and warm kind of like Tamara's bedroom remember yeah. that color? that was I such love a that color a very similar color to this but that one had a little bit more yellow in it Mm -hmm. and with a little bit more like a robin's egg and this one um because it's got less warmth is leaning a little bit more like a powder like steel blue anyway i, I actually don't think it's a terrible color i think it contrasting with the rug because the rug is a similar sort of level of saturation is not really providing a lot of contrast so if this were my room i would you know, I'd want to change out the flooring if I could. If I couldn't, I'd want to add some sort of like flat woven rug, probably like mm -hmm. in an ivory that just brightened up the floor. I think something that would be really nice for this style um, maybe is like one of those like leather headboards that mounts to the wall just to give the bed some structure. And then you could even like have a light fixture that hangs down just a little bit more because it does look like it's over the bed. Um, it's not quite, it's over the foot of the bed. Okay, so I guess that, that semi, the semi flush is not bad either. Another thing obviously is like storage in a room like that. Like I don't think you necessarily like need to be looking at your shoes. So mm -hmm. finding some sort of closed storage piece for that or reorganizing the closet so it could be in there. And then I would say like some sort of like large scale art or object over the bed, maybe something that won't cut your head off in an earthquake could be. Um, <laughs> that's always my first concern. Yeah, that's what I mean. There are like cool, this sounds really like lame, but like things that are like tapestries or things that are made out of like a textile that could kind of solve that issue. Or if it's lightweight enough, I'm always like, all right, this is like over my bed, but it's not like glass. So it won't like cut me in half. Or right. wood, solid wood. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I'm sure that standing desk is probably super practical and healthy, but maybe in terms of like styling it up a little bit, you could add some like shelving above it. So it was a little bit like cleaner and more streamlined. Mm. Uh, most of the time, like adding cool art, getting everything super organized and changing out a few things, like either changing the flooring or adding a rug is gonna make the room feel a lot cooler. Maybe adding like a bench at the end of the bed too, just to mm -hmm. make it feel a little bit more welcoming. 
I like it. All good things. Yeah. Oh, you know, I never go up there and install some wood flooring for him for free because you uh, made him do this. Yep. I got you. Put my room on blast. Mm -hmm. I think I've got some extra for my last project, so you're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure my landlord would be okay with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's an upgrade. For sure. I don't know why they <laughs> chose that carpet in the first place. <laughs> carpet is just like easy to replace and it's cheap. So I like told, yeah. and actually like it can be very nice, but like mm -hmm. you never really feel like it's nice if it's like been somebody else's before you. But yeah, I, I totally get that from a landlord perspective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's good for soundproofing. There's a lot of great things about it, but it gets a bad rap because we're used to seeing like the cheap gross kind that landlords put in just to like do the bare minimum. Well, thank you. Yeah. Nick, how do you feel? How do you feel about those recommendations? I actually think I might implement, uh, be able to implement uh, quite a few of them. So that's really helpful, actually. Good. <laughs> this yeah. is like a mini little episode. This is so great. This and Nick, is we're my gonna, dream We're actually going to hold Nick. you to this. We're yeah. going to hold Nick to this. <laughs> I'm check in with him and see if he actually does it. Hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.